Pablo Mari makes his debut at the back and Marvin Ziegler returns. Mato Yayalo and Destiny Udigi come into the midfield. Just the one change for Torino, Bremer is suspended, so in comes Alessandro Bongiorno. After the two-week winter break, both these sides are raring to go once more. Udinese sit precariously above the relegation zone whilst Torino. Juric got himself in some trouble at the end of the Sassuolo game, said some rechoice words to the referee, picked up a red card and as such, Matteo Paro will be taking charge of Torino from the sidelines. So we're off underway at the Dacia Arena. Beto, pace to get away from the Torino defence, here goes Beto! Drives his shot wide of Milinkovic Savic's goal. Look up, tries to find Beto, but the ball just behind the Portuguese. And the ball here for Yayalo. He claims handball. And a desperate lunge. That'll be the first yellow card of the game for sure. Sasha Lukic. He's complaining to the referee. I'm not sure he's got much of a point. Six successive headers make that seven. Sanabria spotted the run there of Dennis Pratt. The ball's fallen here for Lukic. That's a foul from behind, and it's a yellow card for Mato Yayalo. Lukic causing problems like we expected him to. Great work from Makengo. He's done superbly well. The Frenchman looks up and sees nothing but grey shirts ahead of him. Soppy. Positive this from Udinese. Soppy taking on his man. Brandon Soppy hits the side netting. Much better from the Zebrete. Always looking to drive at this Torino defence. He's done well. He plays in Isaac's success. Success. Great block by Voivoda. It's bobbling around in the area, begging to be put home, but Torino survives somehow. Beto, down for success. Almost done in a bit of a rush there. That'll do it for the first half here at the Dacia Arena. It's been an interesting battle between these two sides. Torino started the better of the two sides, but in the second 45 minutes, what will the two managers have said to their sets of players? Referee Rapuano gets us underway for the second half. urging Bongiorno to get off the pitch as quickly as possible, taking his time there. Marslan, the favourite to loft this one in. Soppy arriving at the back post. With the ball at his feet, but... Gives so much for the team. Effective in what he does. Threat this for Torino, Tony Sanabria leaves it, and it's Sango! Well, he's been in wonderful goal-scoring form recently. Wilfred Sango could have had another one there. But it all came from a poor free kick from Pablo Mari and the quick breakaway. Three passes and they were away to Reno. Silvestri doing well to push that one over. most accurate finishes from Wilfred Sango on his weaker side. Disappointing there from Andragora and he will go into the book. Clear prevention of a counter-attacking opportunity. He knew exactly what he was doing. Mialo taking his time, looking for the easy ball. Not much movement ahead of him. Soppi's done very well. Into success, threatening this from Udinese. Soppi, is that a penalty? Yes, it is. Well, the referee initially you can see him hobbling off the field now he can barely move wonderful effort by the Nigerian he's replaced by Nasio Pusetto can the Argentine be the man to unlock this door Tony Sanabria Turin looking to fulfill his promised potential 20 years of age now he really needs to kick on Pellegri he was linked with a move to Milan Earlier on this season, the other card brandished for Dennis Pratt. Struggled to make an impact at Arsenal. He was on the books at Manchester City in the Premier League for three years without making an appearance. Pellegri, back heel to Dennis Pratt, whipped into the mixer. And at the back post arriving was Voivoda. Big chance for Torino. Tolga
Guy Aslan, remember, suspended for that game next week against Telas Verona after picking up a very petulant yellow card. Repels the danger, but it will come straight back. Pablo Mari with the long throw, the Spaniard looking for Udoji. Heavy challenge there from Mandragora. Yellow cards. He's brandished, and that's his second of the game. Red card for Mandragora late on. They're going to have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. Just caught him late, caught him on the shins. Yayalo is also standing over the ball. Are we in for a late twist here at the Dacha? Molina lines it up! What a strike! The Argentine has won it at the death! It's all that Udinese deserve! The relentless pressure has paid off! Win all three points for Udinese. What a revelation this young man is. Forced his way into the Argentine national side a few years back and has never looked back. Surely no way back for Torino now. It's been spilled by Vanya Milinkovic Savic. Puseto is in. Will it be finished by Wallace off the line? But a penalty given. K. Well, it's chaotic scenes at the back for Vanya Milinkovic Savic. He was a judge to have fouled Puseto Lukic with a clearance off the line. Was there contact here between the Serbian goalkeeper and Puseto? The referee thinks there was. And things are about to get even worse for Torino. After a red card for their captain, Rolando Mandragora, and a mistake at the back by Vanya Milinkovic Savic, they could be staring down the barrel at a 2 0 defeat. It's Puseto. Smartly done. And that will be the last kick of the game. Ignacio Puseto puts the icing on the cake for Udinese. And in a game which was hard fought, found their feet. Should have gone ahead before half time. Couldn't convert any chances in the first or second half. But then the big moment came in the 91st minute. Rolando Mandragora was sent off after a second yellow card offence. Nahuel Molina scoring the free kick.